Hello, this is Matt Wilhelm from Yellowstone Fly Fishing School in Livingston, Montana, working in partnership with Montana Angler Fly Shop in Bozen, Montana, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about tight loops. First of all, what is a tight loop? Uh, a tight loop is usually a loop in diameter from its bottom leg to its top leg during the cast, you know, usually less than about 30 inches. Tight loops are important because they're more efficient in the wind, they travel longer distances, and they can be uh, more accurate uh, in your fly casting. Loop shape, tight loops and all loop shapes, whether it's a tight loop, a wide loop, or a tailing loop, are all predicated on the path of the rod tip. Using my finger as a pretend fly rod tip, if your fly rod tip travels in a straight line path, you have a way better chance of casting a tight loop. Conversely, if your rod tip travels in a circular path, you're going to have more of an open or wide loop. If your rod tip dips below a straight line, that's where you get the tailing loops. Now, back to the tight loops. Now, there's a lot more to casting a tight loop than just a straight path of the rod tip. There's power application to consider. Having the correct amount of pause at the forward and back cast, having the correct angle on your rod for your back stop and your forward stop, having the right amount of casting stroke within your cast as well and keeping slack kept to a minimum. But that rod tip, the line will follow the rod tip everywhere it goes for good or bad. Whatever that rod tip does, that's what the line is going to do along with it. So if we move that rod tip in a straight line path, and then also have those other elements of casting added in, we have a good chance to cast a tight loop. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that now, casting a tight loops, keeping my rod tip in a straight line path between its back stop and its forward stop, producing a tight loop that's under 30 inches wide, that's efficient in the wind, will travel longer distances, and also be really accurate. And that's how you cast a tight loop.